about joy, ultimate joy primarily. Uh, I'm looking for where I'm going to start. We're going to start in the book of Philippians. Uh, and we're going to go, or uh, probably we're going to go to different scriptures. We're going to be looking at different things. And uh, at best, maybe you'll learn how to find different stuff. At worst, it'll keep you from going to sleep. Uh, Lakeland's already in on that. Uh, <clears throat> this don't really pertain to the message, but I heard it on the radio the other day. Adrian Rogers is a great preacher that I admire very much and listen to him every time I get a chance. Uh, he was telling a little story. I thought it was sort of comical, and I, hopefully you will too. But he was talking about uh, sin, and he was talking about, he said that uh, we didn't really need the devil to sin. We was uh, born sinners on, on our own, and we could sin without the devil pushing us around and, and helping us sin. We could do it on our own. And that makes a lot of sense. Especially for a person that is not in the Lord and don't know the Lord as a Savior. He said as this little boy got mad at his sister. And he pushed her around and she got up and he kicked her. And then he spit on her. Well, his mama seen it all. Come running over and got him and grabbed him by the arm and said, you, You're just full of the devil. The devil will talk you into doing anything. She said, No, mama. No, no. She said, The devil prompted me to kick her and push her down, but. Spitting on it was my idea. I'd done that by myself. Life is full of joy and sadness, as we all know. A lot of things bring us joy. Uh, but ultimate joy, despite what some of us might think, is certainly not your favorite team winning a national championship. That is not ultimate joy. That is just a joy you get uh, when your favorite team wins a game, even. We all know as well that we can get sadness from our team, our football team, basketball team, baseball team, or whatever it is when they lose a game. That don't bring us joy. Ultimate joy is way above uh, any joy that we can have or enjoy here on earth, whether it be something we love to do or... Uh, something we love to see or a grandchild or whatever. The ultimate joy we're going to talk about in a little bit. Right now we're going to talk about this joyful thing. Uh, you can have, you can wake up with joy on your heart every morning. You should. Uh, if for nothing else, the fact that you're saved. Uh, but if nothing else, the fact that you woke up this morning and you're able to go and do whether it's to go to work or whatever it is. Uh, I'm very thankful that I'm able to work. A lot of people that wake up in the morning are not able to get up and go to work. And uh, that's bad. Uh, certainly, uh, Things during the uh, things can change during the day. You go through the day. Say you're driving down the road and you have a flat. Well, I mean, you can't get any joy out of that. That don't bring you joy. And if you're driving down the road and somebody that you particularly don't care for has got a flat, that may bring you joy, but that ain't necessarily a good thing. The joy here, the ultimate joy. Of course, we all know comes from Jesus Christ. And um, uh, I better read my notes. There's a, certainly a whole bunch of uh, things that, that really don't bring joy. And especially this day and time with the plague going on and um, people getting sick and we're looking around and who's next and uh, am I going to catch it? And uh, Well, 
That's one of our problems. We're looking around at what's going on, and we're not looking up. Where our joy is supposed to be. We, we worry uh, about being sick, about losing our job, about family being sick. Uh, and all these things are completely out of our control. Yes, we can wear a mask and do exactly what we're supposed to do. That still doesn't mean we're not going to catch something. Still doesn't mean we're not going to fall and break a leg. Still doesn't mean we're not going to lose our job. And uh, that certainly, when we do, certainly doesn't bring joy. But all these things are earthly things. All of these things are temporary. We're not going to be worried from now on. Now, this is speaking about a Christian person. If you're not in Christ, then you'll, you'll never know the ultimate joy of Christ until you get in Christ and receive your salvation and allow Him to, His Holy Spirit, to dwell in your body, to dwell in you and teach you and learn you. Uh, now, if you are saved and uh, you do uh, get worried here and there about this, that, and the other, whatever it may be. Uh, there's scripture in God's word that helps us with that. In Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7, the Bible says, do not worry about anything, but in everything through prayer and petition, essentially, Present your request to God, and the peace of God will guard your heart in Christ Jesus. That's something that uh, can really help you if you get worried about whatever it may be, sickness or whatever comes along in life and, and, and worries us. And any of us here and anywhere else, cannot say that they don't worry about things from one time or another. Uh, you may not worry all the time. You may not worry as much as I do. You may not worry as much as someone else does. But things do concern you occasionally, especially about your life and, and what's going to happen and what is happening and are you going to get well if you're sick or just things like that. We all worry. All of us do. Nobody's immune to uh being frightened about what's going to happen down here on earth. But we still got that one thing ahead of us if we're saved, and that's our salvation, and nobody can take that away. Now, the devil can push us, push us into things that we shouldn't be in. Uh, another thing that really, really causes us to lose our joy is sin. We have sin in our lives, sin in our heart. Uh, God can't be there. You're not going to be connected to the Lord like you need to be and probably like you want to be. Anybody in here, everybody in here, at one time or another, does not day in and day out feel as close to God as they should every day. Nobody does. Because we all sin. And when we repent, then we can get our fellowship back with Jesus Christ. In Psalms uh, 51, we look at David. I know it's a good ways over there, but it ain't that far. Everybody knows King David, right? Everybody? David the king. King of Israel. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows what David did, committed adultery. Everybody knows that David committed murder, or had it committed. He was in charge, and he deliberately had the lady that he had adultery with murdered. David was out of fellowship with God. David was out of fellowship with God because he sinned. He had sinned. This is a guy... This is a man, this is a king that the Bible says 
uh, was after God's own heart? Why was he after God's heart? Because he loved him. This is a guy that was king over Israel that could have anything that he wanted. Anything. Anything or anybody, if you understand. And he chose a woman that was married. And then he had her husband killed. He is out of fellowship with, with God. He is not does not at this point have any joy in his life. What did David do? What did David do? What can we do? Hey. To get our joy back. To get our fellowship back. All right, David. We all know what to do to get our fellowship back with God. One simple word. Repent. Psalm 51. Be gracious to me, God, according to your faithful love, according to your abundant compassion. Blot out my rebellion. Wash away my guilt. And cleanse me from my sin. David hey, wants to get back in fellowship with God. He wants to feel God's love. He wants to feel God's arms wrapped around him. He wants to feel like he belongs. He wants to feel that God loves him. Or I am conscious of my rebellion. He knows he sinned. And my sin is always before me. He can't get it out of his mind. It's coming up, slapping him in the face all day long. It just won't let him alone. Do we ever feel that way sometimes? Sure. I have sinned and done this evil in your sight. I have sinned. I've, I've got one. I have sinned against you. You alone have I sinned and, and done this evil in your sight. So you are right when you pass sentence. You are blameless when you judge. The perfect judge. When we stand before this judge, we ain't going to have a lawyer. A lawyer ain't going to do you no good. He knows all. He's seen all. He's heard all. We're going to have no excuse. And we all are going to be judged. The dead, that the people that have are saved are still going to be judged on what we've done on this earth. And the people that are not saved are going to be judged and condemned because they'll have no excuse. Indeed, I was guilty when I was born. And I was sinful when my mother conceived me. Surely you desire integrity in the inner self, and you teach me wisdom deep within. Purify me with hyssop, and I will be clean. Wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Turn your face away from my sins and blot out my guilt. God, create a clean heart for me and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not banish me from your presence and take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of my salvation. Of your salvation, I'm sorry. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, Lord. Verse 17 says, A sacrifice that's pleasing to God is a broken spirit. David was certainly broken. David didn't have any joy in his life simply because of sin. He 
Let's talk about this ultimate joy. Where in the world do you find ultimate joy? You certainly don't find it in the world. It is from God, from Christ. Christ is in you and is near you always. We should rejoice and be happy that he loves us so much. So we know where we know what joy is, earthly joy, that we would see in our grandchildren. Grandchildren can make you joyful, also they can make you sad too. We were talking about birthdays a while ago, and Kaylee Bug will be 15 next Sunday. I'm, I'm glad she's here. I'm joyful, but I'm also sad that she's getting older. She's not little like Lakeland anymore. She, uh, I know she still loves her papa and mama and mom and daddy and all, but Making Papa all gray headed. See my gray hair? <laughs> I got gray hair under my beard, under my mask here. You know what I'm saying. We have to really work hard to make our, uh, our joy and even our ultimate joy. You got to stay in the Word, you got to pray. You gotta stay constantly in contact with God and let him know that you're willing to let him run things. Uh, this a lot of things going on. I mentioned the uh plague a while ago. Uh just a lot of sadness in the world. presidential election was a lot of people were joyful how it come out. A lot of people were sad how it come out. Uh, do you like Trump? Is he a good president? Joe Biden, is he going to be any better? Should we be worried about that? No. You see Donald Trump at his rallies and and all these people there, just thousands of people just lining up to to get in and hear him or see him. Would they do that if Jesus Christ come back and was going to speak? Did we make Donald Trump a rock star or a god? Did we put him... Above the Lord, is that why he decided to remove him from office and put in Joe Biden? Because God did it. He's in control of everything. He decides who our leaders are and who's not. We think we do, but nope. No, God can use anybody to, to get his purpose done. I don't know. If, truly, I don't know if Donald Trump was saved. I don't know if Joe Biden was saved. I don't got political, but... We just don't know. But we do know that God's got a hold of it. He ain't He ain't lost control with these people that are sick with this plague. He knows exactly what's going on. He knows who's going to be sick and who's going to get well. He's our ultimate joy. He's also in control of all things. Nothing slipped up on him. This plague didn't uh, it slipped up on us. Back last year in November, who who in here thought there was going to be a plague? We knew there was an election coming up. But who thought there was going to be a plague? I didn't. Then all of a sudden, boom. People are getting sick. They're dying. He knew all about it. And 
and I'm glad it is. That's where my joy is. That's where I want my joy. Getting back. I'll get back on track. Look in, uh, well, we, we're still in Psalms right now. Look over in Psalms 1. My question was, how do we maintain ultimate joy? Not only trusting in the Lord that he says everything and knows everything and is in control of everything. Uh, he's in control. Sometimes we get out of control. We got to maintain uh, ourselves. We got to keep our focus focused on the Lord. Verse 1 says, How happy is the man who does not follow the advice of the wicked or take the path of sinners or join a group of mockers. Instead, he delights in the Lord's instruction, and he meditates on it day and night. Uh, how do we get instructions from the Lord? Study the Word. You can't absolutely cannot know the joy of Christ, the ultimate joy, if you're not saved, and if you do not know the Lord. And the only way to know the Lord is study His Word, listen to the preaching, and be in faith. And you got to seek God. He's not going to push his joy on you. You have to want it. Philipp, back to Philippians. Keeping y'all working. You would seem to be staying awake pretty good. Granny, you awake? I'll keep you moving. I love y'all. What does verse 8 say? Hang with me just one second. I want to read verses, and we're still in Philippians 4. I want to read verses 4 and 5. They, I got, they got away from me. 4 and 5 says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Always rejoice in the Lord. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your graciousness be known to everyone. We've got to let this nation know why we are full of joy. We've got to let this nation know where our joy comes from. We've got to let this nation know what kind of joy that we have. Uh, these, uh, this nation and the devil cannot take your ultimate joy away from you. You hear me? Unless you let him. Unless you let them can't listen to the crowd when they're not glorifying God. You can't listen to the crowd telling you this country is divided and things are where it's gloom and doom. You can't listen to them. You got to listen to the Lord. They need to be instead of us listening to them, they need to be listening to us. The only way that this country will survive is if we trust in the Lord and spread the news. A lot of this stuff that's going on in the United States now is the church's fault. Not this church. But yes, this church. All churches. The church as a whole. We're not doing a very good job of spreading the ultimate joy of Jesus Christ. 
we have a hope in Jesus Christ, we are going to live forever. That's our ultimate joy. We need to be telling it, telling our neighbors in the street, in Walmart, in the elevator. If nothing else, speak to them and say hello. It's hard to walk with a, you can walk with a smile on your face, which you should now. Nobody can see it. We're all wearing a mask. You have to speak. Speak the joy of Christ. Another way is following His commands. We stay in fellowship with God. We stay in His ultimate joy. We stay in, uh, close to Him. We cast all of our cares on Him because He wants all of our cares. We repent when we sin like David did. We can do our best to stay in God's will. Romans. I got two more scriptures we're going to look at and then I'll be done. It ain't 12 o'clock yet. Romans 12. Romans 12. Let me see if I got this. Verses 1 and 2. Therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, I urge you to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. Stand in fellowship with God where we can have that ultimate joy. This is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this age, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may discern what is good, pleasing, and the perfect will of God. The only way you can have Ultimate joy is being the perfect will of God. We can pray and talk to God and have communion with Him all the time. We stay in His love, joy. Last scripture that we're going to read is First Peter. This is the closing, the closing part. First Peter. 1, 3 through 9. Praise the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to His great mercy, He has given us a new birth into the living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into the inheritance that is imperishable, uncorrupted and unfading, Kept in heaven for you. You are being protected by God's power through faith for a salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. You rejoice in this. Ultimate joy. Though, not for, though now for a short time you will have struggled various trials so that your genuineness of your faith may be more valuable than gold. When we're struggling, going through a, a trial or tribulation or whatever it may be, we got to put our faith and hope in God because no one else can help us. we got to remember, He knows we're going through a storm. He knows we have a sickness. He's right there with us. Which perishes, though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. You love him, though you have not seen him. And though have not seen him, now you believe in him and rejoice. With inexpressible and glorious joy. Because you are receiving the goal of your faith. The salvation of your soul. So our ultimate joy... is knowing we're going to live forever with Jesus Christ. And like I said earlier, nobody can take that from you. You have to give it up. How do you give it up? Listening to the devil. How do you give it up? Listening to the crowd. 
How do you give it up? Looking around and what's going on instead of looking up. Everything's not going to work out exactly like we want it to work out. Your favorite man is not going to be president all the time. But at least you got the joy of seeing all those political commercials every year for two years in the election. And then they never go away. In two or three months, they're going to start all over again because there's another election coming up in two years. So you get that great joy of getting to watch all those commercials and hearing them on the radio wherever you go. Thank you. You got something to say?